It's the flights in the city and I'm about to take off. And I'm about to take off. It's the flights in the city and I'm about to take off. And I'm about to take off. It's the flights in the city and I'm about to take off. And I'm about to take off. Hey, 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 hey. Cartier shades on too. Don't do food gaze. He designer all along. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning into the Museum TV. I'm your host, Bro God, Reese, whatever you want to call me. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel, all right? Comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. The good, the bad, the ugly, we accept it all, all right? Make sure you check out our Instagram. Make sure you check out our website, tmtv.world. Now, Massachusetts is bubbling right now. Crazy music scene. New artists coming up every month, seems like. Every week, almost. But you know what? Brockton has been making a crazy footprint musically. We talked about it in the past. But now we really highlighting this situation. And right now, sitting in the museum, I got D the Flies with me. How you feeling, brother? I'm good. How are you? Man, I'm doing good, man. No, how, how, no, how you really feeling, <laughs> my man? I'm feeling all right, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Now, you, you're one of Brockton's rising, bright, new stars. How does that feel right now? Because it's, it's, it's a city of champions. We know that. Yeah, it is. But, you know, musically, you're making a crazy splash right now. So how does that feel for you? It feels good. It feels good. That's I feel like there ain't nothing that we actually looked up to when I was young. Well, I actually didn't look up to nobody when I was younger, but like okay. everybody in the streets. Yeah. But I ain't never had no figure that could be like, oh, this rapper came from over here, or mm. this this athlete came from over here. Yeah. And if they did come from over here, they ain't do nothing for us. That's re that's real. So that's it's real. like I really didn't have nothing to look up to. So. So you had to create your own path. And it wasn't even a path that I was like really like, yeah. yeah when I grow up, I'm gonna be a rapper. Yeah. Nah, this shit just happened. That's what's up now. Um, you, you, you spoke on that, um, you know, not having that, you know, those examples in front of you, you know, so anybody to create that, that lane for you, you had to make it for yourself. So musically, you have your own sound, you know what I'm saying? And you also, you know, have the, the, the melodic, you know, the melodic side of it, you know, you do your rapping, rapping, you know, which, which one of those do you really like the most? Uh, I really like melodies. I like playing yeah. with melodies. I don't really like the rapidy rap shit. I yeah. started off doing the rapidy yep. rap shit. Yep. And it wasn't like, it wasn't, it was just boring. It's yeah. mad bland. Cause the people, it's all about what the people connect to the most. Yeah, and it's like, it's just like mad. It just wasn't interesting. Yeah. And then I just, I, I kept working, kept working. Yeah. And then I actually figured out a style that made sense. That's real, that's real. And then real. I just kept pushing with it. So speaking of keeping working, um, you've, you're making a way for yourself. You know, you're doing your own music as far as, you know, just yourself, not no features or anything. Then you're getting onto the features with Rosewood Bait, um, seven, seven, nine, 79, 81 Cal. Mm -hmm. um, and then now, Lil Baby, bro. Like, how did that come about? Like, Lil Baby, bro. Because before we get into that, not only did you do doing features with him, but you also went on tour a little bit with him, did a few shows. Yeah. How was that experience as well? So talk talk to us about how you connected with him and also, you know, the experience on tour as well. Um, well, first, let me shout out my man's cow, my man's Rose. Yes, man. yes, sir, yes, sir. Them was my brothers, you feel mm -hmm. me? But the little baby shit, honestly, is because of my guy, Keish. You feel okay, me? okay. My guy, Keish, nigga, he plugged the whole shit up for niggas. Basically, shout out to Suffolk County. Yeah, shout out to Suffolk County. Man. Yeah, you know they do mm -hmm. it. Shout out Mike City Visuals. Yep, the Mike City, because that no Fugazi video, Crazy. Nah, the record is making a crazy splash, so that, that Fugazi video is tough. Nah, yeah, I appreciate my yeah, team. Nigga. Yeah. I my team go hard, but pretty much, basically, Keish got a phone call that mm -hmm. there was an opening slot for Lil Baby. Yep. I already wanted to do the feature, so we did the opening, opening slot, yep. and then we did the first show in Boston. Right. I came out, the crowd went crazy. Nice. Never expected it in my life. Yeah. I thought no, I thought I was gonna be up there by myself, yeah. everybody singing the songs word for word, and it was just a crazy experience. Yeah. So it was just like, what the fuck? And then the DJ even stopped me in the mm -hmm. middle of my set and was like, yo, hold on, let's run, run that, that shit back, because oh, that's just man. too hard. Yeah. And I never expected it because I, I, first of all, I never did a show in Boston. Right, right. And I didn't think that my impact was that crazy. Right. So then we go and we see this and, they, and then they're like, yo, we got to bring you on to more dates. That's what's up. So they gave me the rest of the dates and I did them. Mm -hmm. The experience was crazy. I was on tour with um, my manager Fab, yep. my guy Vinny, and um, my man too, Flea. Man. Yeah, yeah, shout out Fab too. And yeah. all this is possible yeah. with him. You yeah. feel me? But shout out my guy Flea too. My man Flea was on me. He's okay. part of BTO too. Okay. And we was just on tour. It was just like it was just like an experience like wow. no other. It's so crazy because you're on stage looking at all these people and all these people are looking at yeah. you, and it's like they don't know my song. 
Right. But they just vibing out to the yeah. shit because the shit just like it just looks crazy. It's lit as shit. No bullshit. It, it, and also like you mentioned that the um the melodic aspect of it too that also helps. You know, yeah, it gets it people does. gets your body going different. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's dope, man. Especially when you're talking real spill that oh, people yeah, can that, too. Yeah. that people can relate to. Oh yeah. Because oh, yeah. that's what it is. It's like I like to make music that relates to because I come from a situation where yeah. a lot of people can relate to. Right. So it's like. They're listening to this music and they're feeling the same thing. Yeah, they may be like, going through the same thing at home. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, because I do the same shit with niggas that I listen to. Right. And it's like, yeah, nigga, I relate like, to shit. I yeah. appreciate it. That's what's up. And that's nigga, what's that's up. what I make it for. I make it for people to understand. Like, nigga, there's always a way out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For me to tell you, it's always a way out because, nigga, I came from t the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. I came from all types of nonsense. I see you bullshit. shining, nigga. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just trying to live. I'm just trying to live. Nah, I hear you though, my man. But I it's hear like, you. I, I come from a situation that a lot of people can relate to, so it's like, right. me making music is like a voice. I feel That's like I'm, up. especially from Brockton, I feel like I'm the voice of the city. To be honest, and, with and you. that's you are, and that the, and right now that you are, and I feel we like definitely take a hat off. I mean, I don't got a hat on, I'm bald <laughs> a bit right now, but you know, we definitely take a hat off for you, man. Nah, no yeah, book, definitely. No I feel like I'm the voice of the city, but I, I, I'm coming for. I feel like I'm the voice of the state too, nigga. I feel like I feel like I'm the next one that's gonna be the one. Right now, you you holding it down I right now, like my it, man. You holding I, it I got, down. I, you feel me? I got some shit in store. I, I got so, a whole lot of shit. Speaking of shit in store, Dope Boy Diaries. All right, November twenty third. Now, the, the the marketing for it right now is, is crazy. Yes, it Talk is. to us about the cook up with that, like the genius behind that whole was, that whole rollout. It was honestly like I really just basically sat down and really just thought about it, like how we wanted to approach everything. Because yeah. at first I dropped the single "Fruity Chain Game." Yes, yes, you that did. was the first single that I dropped, mm -hmm. and it picked up so fast. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna pick up that fast. It picked up fast, mm -hmm. but it's like, all right. So now everybody's anticipating the mixtape. Yep. I had the mixtape done for a long time. It's uh -huh. just that I just kept pushing it back. Cause yeah, because it got to be right. It. I just wanted it to be as perfect yeah. as possible. Yeah. And you feel me? I kept pushing it back. Free Chinga was the first single. And then... Which that video was crazy, by the way. I appreciate you know, it. I was like, yo, that was who these niggas. niggas with the whips? I'm like, yo, I need $5 on dogs. So I'm like, yo, the whips is crazy. But nah, but so Free Chain Gang. Free Chain Gang. Mm. And then I just went and I, I really had all the songs ready. And then... I just kept pushing it back for some reason. I forgot what the reason was. Yeah. And then the baby shit had happened. So it was like, okay, I just went from, I, I had a little bit of momentum, and then mm -hmm. now I just got the whole momentum, especially yeah. for the fact that he posted it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah the, the pendulum is swinging, boy. So then it's after swinging. that, it was just like, uh, let me, I just got to make sure that yeah. I drop a great project. Yeah. And I got a great project. I and so what is it dropping again? November 23rd. November 23rd. On all platforms. Everything. Everything. Title. Apple Music. Yeah, title, Apple Music. Everything. Spotify. Spotify. Amazon. Amazon. Oh, SoundCloud too? Nah, you can't get it for free. You can't get it for free. <laughs> you can't get Dope Boy Diaries for free. You can't. It ain't happening. It ain't happening, bro, because they got to support the right way. You can pull up on me. You might get it for free. <laughs> you can pull up on me. You might get it for free. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, um, what's what's to come, man? So, you know, you got Dope Boy Diaries dropping, um, but what else is to come for you? What's, 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 what can we see in the future for you, man? I'm ready to go back to back, to be honest with you. Yeah. I'm going to drop some visuals off Dope Boy Diaries. Okay. And I'm ready to go right back into it and drop another tape. I'm trying to drop another tape by the beginning. Not necessarily January, but like okay. March, oh. February type. Oh, thing. so you I already have the music ready for it. The music's already ready but for it. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get nah, ready, yeah, right? Yeah, the music's already ready for it. It's just yeah. that um, I just want to make sure the time is correct yeah, and make yeah. sure like all the pieces to the puzzle fit facts, and facts. everybody gets Dope Boy Diaries and this shit. Yeah, because I'm definitely going to cop that because I got my title subscription. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got the hi-fi. You know, so I pay 25 a month. You know what I'm saying to make sure I get my shit. But now nah, we, I'm definitely gonna get the um the iTunes too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy all that. I'm make I sure you know, we definitely I support you, the man. Support, man. Cause you're doing your thing right now. Man. I'm trying to. Man, I'm we trying see you, to. man. Definitely. We see you. I'm we see you. To. Now, um, you know, you got you got any anybody you want to shout out real quick? You know what I'm yeah. saying? You, shout anybody want to show some love to? Shout out the whole BTO team. Mm -hmm. Shout out everybody on BTO, man. Shout out the Suffolk County team, man. Yeah. Shout out all my managers. Fab. Yeah. Tricky man, shout out my guy Keys. Cause yeah. Them niggas do a lot. Mike City Visual, mm -hmm. and everybody else in the city really doing their yeah. thing, nigga. And I fuck with a lot of niggas in the city, like Seven Ninety One Cal. Um, my man's NASA. Mm -hmm. All hustle no luck. You feel me? A bunch of niggas out in the city doing their thing. That's, a, that's a good team. And, and most of all, free the chain game. Free the chain game. Free everybody game. locked down. Free my dogs about the feds, man. Free everybody mm -hmm. in Plymouth County, Dedham, yeah. wherever the fuck you at, man. Free yeah. you. Yeah, not free all real. the real niggas and, and y'all can keep the rats. We don't want them out in the street. Look, you gotta exterminate them. Exterminate <laughs> Definitely. them. Definitely. <laughs> you don't want the niggas out in the but, street. 
by the time everybody sees this interview, Dope Boy Diaries will be out. Yes, it will be. It will be out. Yes. Now, um, we appreciate you for coming through, my man. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I I was, that was smooth. I, I was sweating at first because I'm like, man, he's, 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 he's a tough dude, man. I, I don't know, man, from being able to hold this interview together. But nah, look, I appreciate yeah. it, my man. Thank you I for coming through, man. Make sure y'all support D to Flies, man. Shout out to Brock Town, the city of champions, man. Listen, y'all got one. Y'all got one. But listen, before I go, you already know. If you hustle with consistency and provide quality work, they cannot deny what's dope. And it's a prime example. No this sense. man grinded. He did a show with Lil Baby. He didn't even think people knew his fucking song. But everybody knew the records. You know why? Because it was dope. Yeah. Man, appreciate How work you, pay off. It definitely pays and, off. And fuck what everybody else got to say. If the streets fuck with it, then it's some real spells. Oh, yeah. If everybody the streets got, is fucking with it, Everybody going to catch good. you on next. Yeah. You good. You ain't got to worry about nothing else, bro. But you never give up. You right. Because I've right. been in situations where I, I should have gave up and mm -hmm. I didn't. And look where I'm at now. Appreciate I'm you living. for sitting down with us, I my man. Y'all. I'm definitely, definitely getting that, man. Y'all. You know that, bro. Thank you for coming through, man. Appreciate your team for coming through. Of you know, course. we definitely look forward to the future, bro. Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shades on tilt, don't do fugazi Designer all on my drip and I ain't basic My bitch, she act bougie, don't do no lame shit Shoebox money, we stack it, don't do no banking It's getting wicked in the city, bring the fire home. I ain't got no feelings, I've been a sinner since a damn child I told them semis, I told them glizzies, that's what I'm about I know the liquor, fuck up my liver, still gon' pull it up, yeah Still sipping on that syrup Holy drive by, man, we still flick on birds Got 17 whenever I'm on Hey, it's Noble, creator of the Museum TV, and I just wanted to thank you for tuning into Boston's premiere vlog. If you like this video, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'll leave a few other videos around here for you, just so you can see how we're exhibiting the culture stories.